How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some super scary video clips that may just give you nightmares. But as always, before we dive in, remember to hit that subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. What if there were others out there? Real Shapeshift is a TikToker who regularly posts videos about UFOs and aliens, but also updates on himself and his bizarre transformation. Take a look. My name is not too important. The information that I'm about to tell you is extremely important. I was an intelligence specialist with the United States Navy. Since then, if you watch my other videos, you realize that strange things have started to happen to my body. The poster says he once served as an intelligence specialist in the military. He explains that while he had excellent eyesight while in the military, recently his eyesight has become blurry. He claims that after receiving an eye examination, the doctor suggested that he might need to see a specialist over an irregularity that he's developed. He believes his left eye is beginning to look like that of a reptile with an unusual vertical anomaly. The poster goes on to note that he's also experiencing other changes to his body, including the growth of extra limbs. My body in certain areas, like for example, if you look at my elbows on both sides, I'm growing additional limbs. My hands, my thumbs, they're extending and growing too. He hints that he might have been part of some sort of super soldier program and is now a shapeshifter. At first, I just put out a cry for help on TikTok. I didn't know who was gonna answer, who was gonna respond. Other people out there that went through similar experiences. A shapeshifter is a character or creature often found in mythology, folklore, and speculative fiction that has the ability to physically change its shape or form. Examples of famous shapeshifters include the werewolves of European folklore who change from human to wolf under a full moon, or mythological gods like Loki from Norse mythology known for changing forms at will. A reptilian shapeshifter, also known as a reptoid, is a concept derived from science fiction, conspiracy theories, and ufology that refers to humanoid beings that have the ability to shapeshift into reptile-like creatures. These beings are often alleged to originate from extraterrestrial civilizations or alternate dimensions. The theory gained traction due to the writings and speeches of British conspiracy theorist David Icke, who claims that these reptilian shapeshifters are the secret rulers of our world, manipulating events from the shadows to achieve global domination. In another video, the poster even goes further, claiming that he's one of the first people to receive a neural link, an implantable brain machine interface device from the company that was founded by Elon Musk and others in 2016. I'm one of, if you notice, the first people to receive an actual neural link. Now people will doubt, they'll debunk, they'll sit there and say, there's no human trials. Yeah, there's... He believes that it's his responsibility to get this information out to the public and that his old account, which had millions of views and people following, was previously banned. I'll leave a link in the description to Real Shapeshift's TikTok account. It's well worth checking out if you get a chance. I've started to see and notice things that I, I, I just passed up before. Maybe I forgot or maybe was erased. Ophidiophobia, or the fear of snakes, is one of the most common specific phobias across the globe. This fear can be so intense that it transcends the logical understanding that not all snakes are dangerous, leading individuals to avoid not just real encounters with snakes, but also images, videos, and discussions involving these reptiles. So if that sounds like you, then it's probably best to avoid this next video. Uploaded to Reddit by user SaltyNerd14, the clip shows a snake slithering up a brick wall. Cleverly, the reptile uses the grooves between the bricks to slink its way higher and higher. Several viewers drew immediate comparisons between the snake's movement and those of the snake game built into old Nokia phones. 
The reptile was quickly identified as a California king snake, a non-venomous species renowned for its vibrant and distinct coloration. California king snakes are of particular interest due to their dietary habits. They're ophiophagous, meaning they prey on other snakes, including venomous species. This unique diet has earned them the king title as they are seemingly immune to the venom of many species they consume. On average, they can grow to be about three to four feet long, but some specimens have been known to reach up to five feet. So while the snake itself may not be dangerous to humans, I'm sure most would receive a nasty fright if they were to find one curled up in their second story bedroom. This next eerie clip was uploaded to TikTok by Diego Spickers. In the description, the poster notes that he originally thought it might have been some cats making noise on the roof. However, as you can see, that doesn't seem to be the case. It was originally suggested that the creature might be a barn owl, yet many viewers disagreed, noting that it appears to have a human face. If you slow the footage down, you can even see that it has large dark eyes and greyish skin. So what do you think this creepy creature could be? Is it a human or something else entirely? Let me know where you land on this one in the comments down below. This next photo was uploaded to Reddit by user Swing Admin. It shows a relatively common condition known as hairy tongue, a colloquial term for a condition that gives the tongue a hairy appearance. However, despite the terminology and visual implications, it doesn't involve actual hair growth on the tongue at all. The condition occurs when the filiform papillae, the tiny cone-shaped projections on your tongue's surface, fail to shed as they typically would. Normally, these papillae, which measure about one millimeter in length, go through a life cycle similar to skin cells, where they grow, fulfill their function, and then shed. In the case of a hairy tongue, instead of shedding, these FP extend much longer, potentially up to 18 millimeters. As they lengthen, they start to accumulate debris, including bacteria and food particles. The papillae can also be discolored by the foods consumed or the products used in the mouth. It's a relatively prevalent condition with about 13% of the population expected to experience a form of hairy tongue at least once in their life. While it can develop at any age, it's more common in older individuals and men. So now that you know, make sure you take a look in the mirror tonight and see if your tongue needs a haircut. This next image, shared to Reddit by user Veloso Veronici, shows the centaur of Volos, under which reads the inscription, one of three centaur burials discovered in 1980 by the Archaeological Society of Argos Oristico, eight kilometers northeast of Volos, Greece. The exhibit, first showcased in 1980 at the Madison Arts Center, Wisconsin, USA. The assemblage includes authentic human and horse bones fused and arranged by an individual named Bill Willers, an artist and professor of biology at the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh. Willers constructed the skeletal figure using authentic human bones from an anatomical specimen from India, housed in his university's biology department along with bones of a Shetland pony. To achieve further realism, he tea-stained the bones for uniform color. After touring several colleges during the 1980s, the Centaur of Volos was bought by the University of Tennessee, Knoxville in 1994, and it's been a permanent exhibit at their Jackie Reese Galleria at the Hodges Library ever since. The reasoning behind the creation and exhibition of the Centaur of Volos was supposedly to encourage critical thinking among students and caution them against blind acceptance, even if the source appears reliable, such as a university exhibit. 
Willis received a commission in 2008 from Skulls Unlimited, a company dealing in authentic bones to create another centaur, this time a posed one. The resultant piece, the centaur of Timphy, was displayed at Arizona's International Wildlife Museum in 2012 as part of the Mythological Wildlife Exhibition and was later acquired by the Barnum Museum in Connecticut. Interestingly, this centaur was created using zebra bones instead of horse bones. An anonymous individual who worked at a facilities manager for a school in Connecticut for 25 years shared this brief clip with us via email. Take a look at what it shows. As you can see, a single light fixture moves back and forth, while 15 to 20 other fixtures in the vicinity remain stationary. The poster notes that there's no identifiable reason like air current to explain this unusual activity, which has supposedly been witnessed by several people since as far back as 2015. The individual speculates that the school could be situated over a Native American burial ground, although this is purely their opinion. Take a good look at the footage and tell me what you think could be causing the light to swing. Is it something paranormal or is there another way to explain its bizarre movements? Share your theories down below. Before we get to that last segment of the day, remember to hit that subscribe button, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. That way you'll be in the loop every time we drop our scary and creepy videos. This peculiar meteorological event observed in Pedido Key, Florida had weather experts unsure of what it actually shows. Take a look. During a lightning storm, an unidentified light appears to move towards the storm's inflow. This curious spectacle, seen here in a video captured by Christopher de Graaf, has spawned several theories as to what this mysterious light might actually be. Some think it might be a lantern or UFO, while others think it could be ball lightning. Ball lightning is an atmospheric electrical phenomenon described as luminescent spherical objects which vary from pea size to several meters in diameter. It's usually associated with thunderstorms but lasts considerably longer than the split second flash of a lightning bolt. The lifetime of a ball lightning occurrence can range from mere seconds to several minutes. Though reported throughout history, ball lightning is a relatively rare and poorly understood phenomenon due to its unpredictable and transient nature, making it difficult to study. Witnesses often report the object to be radiating a light that can be multicolored or even white and may even move erratically or hover in place. Some reports describe a hissing or buzzing sound and sometimes even an odor can accompany the sighting. Scientists have proposed many theories to explain ball lightning over the centuries, including concentrations of electrically charged particles, combustion of hot gases, or a type of self-contained plasma ball. However, no theory has been able to fully and satisfactorily explain all observed characteristics of this mysterious phenomenon, making ball lightning a continuing subject of interest and investigation in meteorology. So take another look at the clip and let us know if you agree. Is this ball lightning? Let us know down below. Now, if you love mysterious videos, then check out the rest of our catalog. There's an episode right there. Otherwise, there's a massive paranormal playlist there you can binge on. Now, if you love what we do here at Slapped Ham, then consider supporting us through a YouTube membership. There's a little join button there that lists all the perks of our channel. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. 